Uh, we have some information we'd like to share with the class today. I know that the president is going to be speaking, so it's probably a bad time to do a, a live show. But you know what? I'm going to do one anyway. The reason why I feel the need to do this is because, listen, chances are you, you've never heard of this in all your life, but I'm going to tell you about it so you know. So that in case it happens, you'll understand that it was planned, and I can prove, and I've already archived everything. So if they change anything, too bad. I've got it. Okay? There was an exercise that was supposed to take place between May 14th and 15th, and it was supposed to take place in the New England area. It was all supposed to take place in other states, multiple states. The name of the operation was called Binary Blackout. What was that about? Well, it was supposed to be some sort of cyber attack that came from Russia, out of all places. It would do what? It would disable the water supply nationwide. It also would take out the electrical grid nationwide. So now that makes me wonder, hmm... According to documentation that was obtained on April 6th of 2020, FEMA has since then canceled it. But have they really? Now it makes sense to me why all of the National Guards are at every single state. It makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense that the Richie from Boston's videos that are showing the National Guard are parking all of these vehicles and quarries and behind these buildings everywhere in every municipality. Huh. And we're all scratching our head. Why are all of the hospitals, why are all these different facilities empty when we're being told that they're full and they're not? How is it that hundreds and thousands of people all over the world in every crevice of each nation where the citizens have gone out and they have videotaped these supposed establishments and no one's there. Meanwhile, you got the mainstream media. They're fanning the flames, boy. This is like the worst thing of all time. Hogwash. At the same time, you had the CDC, you had the Keebler cookie elf, Dr. Fauci, you know, Blinky over there. Ambassador, uh, or the emissary for our health, mommy government, telling us they're padding the numbers. If you go in for a toenail, you know, an abse um, an infected toenail, and you happen to perish, you actually, you know, perish because of the Wuhan wiggle. If you go in there for a heart attack, it's Wuhan wiggle. If you go in for, you know, a stroke, and you perish because of that, no, it's the Wuhan wiggle. Listen, if it was such a big deal, why would you have to pat the numbers? You wouldn't have to. So all these people every day, they're coming out, oh, there's 34,000. Sure there are. And what people are probably not understanding, uh, 33,962 of them have been padded. Is that right? Yeah, that would be right. So you mean to tell me that an exercise that was locked up with all these other exercises that, in fact, took place in 2019, and they were going into 2020, specifically the Crimson Contagion. We already know that that took place from January of 2019 all the way to August. The white paper came out in October, October 18th. Yet another tabletop, the Event 201, occurred on October 18th, 2019. We know that that Tabletop was seen by all of the directives, all the people involved, all the participants, and it was held back from the public, and it was published on November 4th of 2019 on the YouTube channel. We also know that according to the mainstream media, the information had been changed that the first Patient zero was December 1st, but it wasn't. It was November 17th, even though the CDC came out with quarantine advisories paying from $51,000, $94,000 a year. It was supposed to extend until May. 
In other words, that job opening was to extend until May, or maybe it was March. Talking about quarantine advisories for 19 cities within the United States that were the first 19 cities that were affected by the Wuhan wiggle. Two days before November 15th, where patient zero went there at supposedly to the Wuhan hospital on November 17th. That would be two days later. So we all know that this was planned, but what I'm going to share with you today, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that an exercise was supposed to take place by FEMA called binary blackout. That is a fact, Jack. Let's go ahead and read to you the other little exercises that were going on at the same time and that were to bleed over into 2020. Cyber Dawn, Cyber Guard, Cyber Yankee, Cyber Storm, Liberty Eclipse, Grid X, Red X7, Clear Path, Crimson Contagion. We already know that one took place. Power Play, Shaking Fury, that took place also in 2019, dealing with, uh, you know, what would happen if there was a major earthquake, 7.7. So we already know that one took place, too, because we checked. Okay? And uh, Resilient Grid. Binary Blackout in association with Eagle Horizon. Very, very naughty, man. You can't imagine how naughty this exercise was to be. Let's go ahead and pull up the information, shall we? Yeah, let's do that right now. Because your jaw is going to hit the floor. The reason why I felt the need to talk to you about this is because according to the female, by the way, here's the archive right here, ladies and gentlemen. Anybody that would like to participate, uh, mods, thank you very much for for being here. I appreciate you. I really do. Anybody that wants to participate, pull that up. That is directly from the FEMA website. Let's go ahead and read it together, shall we? Coordinating the response of the Wuhan wiggle pandemic is our top national priority. According to the administrator, Gaynor has made the difficult decision to cancel the remainder of the national level exercise, NLE 2020, to include the FEMA-led binary blackout and Eagle Horizon. See, I'm not telling you a story. Component exercises and the concept of one large unified functional, functional exercise in May other organizations leading the component exercises linked to the NLE 2020 will assess their own path forward in coming days. Wow. Special. What we do not understand, ladies and gentlemen, is how that exercise, binary blackout, and Eagle Horizon was to affect the entire, oh my gosh, and I do mean entire nation. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's another thing I'd like to point out. This is another thing I like to point out. This is really important. Have you noticed that the entire QAnon, that big old fairy tale, have you noticed in a lot of the adjoining posts that that organization, rather, kept posting, it kept saying, watch the water, right? Now we know why. We sure do, because we have all of the documentation and the outlay of binary blackout. Uh Uh-huh. And I'm going to share it with you. But why would I do that if it's been canceled? Because I don't know that it has been canceled. And you got all these other people running around talking about Operation Gotham. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Huh. But according to Mr. Jason Goodman, he went around New York today and he was asking police officers if they had ever heard of that. And they were like, no, 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 no. Huh. That's a darndest thing, because when he walked up to some military personnel. They were saying that it had something to do with, uh, I don't know, the place where they had all the beds set up. Right. 
But yet in another video that was published in the early part of April, somebody caught some military personnel with these badges and they turned them over as so you couldn't see them. Well, why not? Because it's a secret. Well, why would it be a secret if it was to help people at some facility in New York? It doesn't make sense, buddy. Let's go ahead and get to the particulars of binary blackout, shall we? Yes, we will do that right now. Because here's the thing. According to FEMA, it's been canceled. According to their own website, you saw it with your own eyeballs. But has it? Let's hope that it has. Let's hope that they didn't change your minds. So let's go ahead and get to the meat and potatoes of all this, shall we? And what this exercise entailed. The information came in that supposedly on April 6th, the Federal Emergency Management Agency canceled its national preparedness. You just saw the information that, in fact, they did cancel that, supposedly, right? But what did that exercise entail? Holy smokes, man. Now, here's another thing I want you to keep in mind. For all the people that know the information, that have read the information, verified the information, seen the information has been verified by the upper echelon of the uh, Trump administration that all of these guys went to NORAD and they're all locked up in there right now. Why? That's where you listen, when you're dealing with the COG Mafia, COG that's C-O-G C-O-G stands for Continuity of Government. Wow. You know what's really fascinating? It speaks about the COG mafia in this information and this just just something else let's go ahead and deal with it nle 2020 focused on cybersecurity, and not just cybersecurity in general but a russian government attack that the war gamers made so extreme that it uh constituted an attack on the nation, provoking a military response and even contemplation of the use of N weapons. You do the math. Starts with an N, ends with an R. All right? The exercise taking place as the Wuhan wiggle grew had nothing to do with the pandemic. But the senior officers says the government planners who designed the NLE 2020 tried to do too much, getting lost in the flurry of topical scenarios, unlike uh, contingency. This is what it was to lay out. The NLE 2020 documents include simulated messages, uh, message traffic doled out by control cell called white cell, who provide scripted bits of intelligence and literally fake news to challenge planners and decision makers. An elaborate scenario of over 400 pages long describes how the Russian attacks started and escalated with power plant operations at local levels, calling on federal officials to help to protect their utilities. NLE 2020 posted a new scenario different from the real world probes that Russia and other countries have undertaken. 
for this war game a a broad attack on electrical power production itself, not distribution uh, facilities, but the actual power grid, right? That would lead to catastrophic overloading and then failure of the entire North American electrical grid itself. The electrical power portion of the NLE 2020 is called binary blackout. And it and its own sub exercise within a larger war game, the cyber attack at the centerpiece of what the Department of Homeland Security documents say is a set of events that will lead to domestic national security emergency. What? You mean like the one we're in right now? Yeah, that one. You know, you get all freaked out and you start waving the, I have my rights. I'm an American. I don't care what you are. And I'm a new world order soldier. What? You mean like the one we're in right now? Yeah, that one. And significant impacts on multiple critical infrastructure. Hmm. Oh, that's amazing. Under the classified scenario, for the national security emergency that was to have played out the Russian government cyber attack on the electrical power plants in New England, Nevada, results in a catastrophic power outage, a CPO, with cascading effects that spread like a virus throughout the country and into Canada. In the game, electrical power grids failed completely in five New England states, in FEMA Region 1, including Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and Vermont, while in the West, FEMA Region 9, in Arizona, California, and Nevada, officials scrambled to keep up with rapidly spreading worms. According to the binary blackout planning documents, within 24 hours of the quickly spreading blackout, the nation's water supply started to be affected, pumping stations without backup generators or ones that didn't work further failed. And across the country, water sector performance dropped to as low as 40 percent. High rise buildings were particularly hit and water was not deemed to be 100 percent safe in almost half the United States. As waste water began to back up into the clean water systems. The scenario was written to be the largest electrical power cat, uh, catastrophe to ever have hit the, co uh, the country. According to the scenario, states requested federal assistance. National Guard units were called out. Wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen. National Guard is in a lot of these different states right now. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Washington dusted off its contingency plans and planners playing mayors and governors and even cabinet officials. And the president worked to calm the nation. NLE 2020 briefings and planning documents called it a complex adversary based multi-dimensional attack that was constructed intentionally to pull in the participa uh, participants from the whole community, all levels of government, the private sector, non-governmental organizations, and community groups. But as the full-scale play dealt with rapidly escalating disaster created by power blackout in real world and the Wuhan wiggle, also started to spread. Early 
only bad stuff here. The papers also reveal precisely how there can be a set of preparations going on in the public eye, while behind the scenes another more ominous and secret set of deliberations take place. For instance, the unclassified papers and the briefings intended to state that local governments blandly say that NLE 2020 includes an option for a weapon, WMD, I'm not going to say it, right? Base threat and the execution of community plans with emphasis on devolution. But the classified briefings prepared for the top government war gamers posit a four, uh, excuse me, a far more extensive WMD component, as well as, the, uh, as well as the challenges of the federal government responding to civil disturbances for evacuating Washington, for protecting continuity of government. Washington for protecting continuity of government and imposing martial law. Wow. Huh. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There it is right there, your binary blackout. Oh, no. Hey, listen. These guys are help us. They're here to help us, right? you're planning such a real world game that's naughty ah, just so naughty uh, it was, it's very naughty it, it, it is so naughty it is like